and the greatest gift you have today, it's another day of life. Hello ladies and welcome to Stephmas. This is my second year doing this and I am super excited because it's been a minute since I made a video for YouTube. So I'm super excited coming back with Stephmas. Now Stephmas, last year when I did it, it was um, 12 videos during the last 12 days, 12 days before Christmas. And I wanted to do that this year, but A, I'm already late. This is my first death map video and it was supposed to be, I'm pretty sure, like one or two days ago. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do the 12 days on a row of videos, but I'm definitely going to be doing as much videos as I can for this series because right now I do have a lot of my plates and I definitely need to take more care of whatever it's left for the year because I do have a lot coming for 2020 and I'm super excited. I cannot wait to get started with that but with no further ado let's go to the first video and our first video is going to be eight tips on how to stay healthy during your holidays so with no further ado let's keep watching so my tip number one will be to drink a lot of water listen it's the holidays we're gonna be over eating and not only that but we're probably gonna be drinking more than usual so staying hydrated it's key for everything first of all when you drink water again you are staying hydrated if you're drinking a lot of alcohol because I mean it's a lot of dinners and parties friends and all that stuff definitely drinking a lot of water is gonna keep you on track but also we are going to be eating a lot so it is important that we make sure that we don't overeat during each party each meal i mean <laughs> yeah holiday holiday food is the best food ever so it is kind of difficult to not overeat and drinking water 30 minutes before the party is going to help you to be more fuller and that way when the time to eat comes by you're not going to be crazy eating a lot of food that you should have not so with that said, my tip number two will be to eat before the party. Try to make sure that you eat at least two hours before the party. And I'm telling you this because this is common, especially in my family. We have the, for example, on Thanksgiving, when Thanksgiving comes, we usually have our Thanksgiving dinner, or should I say lunch, at 12 o'clock. So we usually do not have breakfast or anything because we are so excited and we just want to eat all that delicious food. But the problem is that we are starving and when the eating time comes, we are going to overeat. Same goes in um, Christmas Eve. If we know we're going to the party at night time, we might not eat during the day. and. And by the time that eating comes, we are going to, we are so hungry that we're going to overeat and we're going to go crazy with our carbs and all of that stuff. So we want to make sure that we do eat a healthy meal at least two hours before because A, you already make sure you have your nutrients intake, intake and number two, you are making sure that you are not starving so that way you are not going to go crazy eating your meals. Tip number three will be to offer to take something. If you're going to a party where there's a family or a friend and you're not sure if they're gonna have your healthy option, you can offer them to take something. That way you can make sure that you have something healthy out there to eat. With that said, it doesn't have to be 100% healthy. You just have to have a better option that it's gonna be at least healthier than a regular meal will be. Tip number four will be to start with your veggies. When it comes time to serve your food, always start with your veggies because we usually, the first things that we pick are the ones that we're gonna pick the most and then as the plate start getting full, then we're gonna grab whatever else is left in smaller amounts. So we wanna make sure that we start with the veggies or the healthier options first, and then we can go to your carbs or your dessert or whatever is left that is not that healthy. With that will be the tip number five. And the tip number five will be to at least not choose more than two carbs. I know it's hard, it's holidays, but if you cannot resist it, only take two and no more than that. Now, if you're choosing two or more, make sure that your carbs are at least a fourth of your plate. Now, that means that if you're taking bread, don't go crazy and take two or three pieces of bread. Just take one small piece of bread, and then you can take something else on the side, like smashed potatoes or potato salad or whatever you and your family do for the holidays. Tip number C will be to not skip your snacks. Snacks are the key here to A, keep your nutrition intake. Usually when we eat in the holidays, the nutrition is not in their best over there. We're eating a lot of carbs, a lot of stuff that doesn't have um, a lot of nutrients. So when you eat your snacks, you're making sure that you have some nutrients in there. Snacks can be from fruits to protein shake and if you need more ideas, I have 10 snacks ideas that you can download clicking on the link 
um, on the blog all these that I'm talking to you right now in my, in this video it, I write a blog about it and there I'm giving you a link to click to get 10 healthy snacks that you can grab and eat and that's it with that said also it's keeping you full see how we mentioned to stay full before the party drink your water 30 minutes before or eat a meal at least two hours before and eat between breakfast lunch and dinner keep your snacks so that way you are staying full and when the party comes you can go you can enjoy those delicious food but again you're not going to go crazy eating all of that deliciousness tip number seven will be to stay active we want to enjoy that dessert those pies oh my god pies <laughs> and we are going to be eating more consuming more calories than we will usually do during the rest of the year. So we wanna make sure that those extra calories that we are consuming, we're not gonna feel bad or guilty or feel like crap the next day. So it's very important to stay active. Ways you can stay active, it doesn't mean you need to go to the gym and have a membership site. No, sweetie. You can just go take a walk in the neighborhood. You can go run some bicycle, park far away, take the elevator, quick, quick little things that are going to make you to sweat a little bit more are the perfect things to keep you active and burning those extra calories that you ate last night and the last thing will be to eat mindfully forget the phone and enjoy the moment you are there with your friends you are there with your family and don't eat something thinking oh my god this is gonna this is so much calories it's gonna make me fat oh my god i need to go to the gym tomorrow enjoy the moment think about the rest later you already have these tips that are going to help you just follow them nicely. Don't feel bad if you don't follow one of them. Just enjoy the food, eat it slowly, and just enjoy the flavors, savor it, say thank you, and enjoy the moment with your loved ones. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, so that way you can be healthier and happier with Fit Steph, and I cannot wait to see you on the next Steph Mask. Bye for now.